Hi everybody and welcome to this new section, section number 7, Release Electron Apps. In this section we will take a look at how to release into production our amazing applications built with Electron. I wanted to point out a thing first before we start with this section. This course is not aimed to talk about production that much, because it's a really tough and complicated topic and you need a whole new course to go through all the details of releasing Electron apps. In this section, my aim is just to show you guys a quick startup on how to release Electron applications built with React and make them work. So let's start right away with our first video. Tools Overview. In this video, we will check out the tools that we need and use to produce or to compile our Electron applications. So the tool that we are going to use is Electron Packager. So let me open real quick their documentation. You can find them on GitHub and it's Electron Packager as seen here. And basically what this package does is enables us to create .app for Mac, .exe, so executables for Windows and other things. And it's a really simple package actually to use. There are not much things that uh, you need to understand to create your first executable with an Electron application. So let's dive right into our terminal and install this package. So you can find the installation right here. So I'm just gonna copy this. We're gonna save it as a development dependency. I'm gonna open my terminal. I'm killing the Electron instance. So here we are, and it is installing. And while this installs, I wanted to do another thing. And what we need to do, actually, is having a production refactor. This is a thing that you usually do in real applications that you are building for clients or for the public. And basically is that once you're finished with the development, so let me open my code editor real quick. Once you finish with the development of your application, you want to do small changes or refactors to make this app work really well into production. And one of the changes that I want you to do is to remove the menu bar from this application when we are into the uh, production mode. So in development, of course, we need the menu because we have to refresh the page and whatnot. Let me see. So this was done. Let me show you the example. I'm running the application again. And this menu right here is just for reloading and toggling developer tools, which we really need while we develop but we don't need them in production. The client or our user does not need to see this menu and frankly, it's not that beautiful. So let's just remove it into production and we can do that with a simple trick. So here where we have our menu, we can just wrap everything with an if clause. All these parts right here will be called only if the variable environment is dev is one or is true. So to do that, to set this environment, because of course we don't have the environment now. So if we try to run the application, restarting the app. So we can see that we have the default. So just a second, uh, we need to do another thing here. So in case we, don't, we are not developing, we don't want a menu, right? So we close this app, we restart it, and we don't have the menu, but we need it while we develop. So we want to set it in this case because we are still developing. So to do that, we just go into package.json and here into Electron Dev, the script Electron Dev, we are gonna add a new variable, environment variable. For example, we have already two ones this one and this other one. We're gonna set another one. And this will be one. So one. Okay, so this should be good enough. Let me try now. 
So without the isDev variable, we didn't have a menu. Let's take a look now. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to add set before adding the variable. This is just for Windows. So we will take a look at the other two operating systems in a second. So now we have the menu and is dev is one, so it's true, and we are setting the menu. Also this line right here, I'm gonna copy paste it into a new window, just to show you guys how this line would have been into macOS or Linux. So we have this line, and I'm gonna zoom in. We just have to remove the set everywhere and also the ampersands everywhere. So here, and here, also here. So this should work for macOS and Linux. I'm just scrolling through it so you can see it again. So not a big deal. And with this change, we are pretty much done with the production refactor because our app is still working pretty well in other environments. So once we are into the production environment, so